Hello, welcome to my studio. Today I'm going to be talking about the audio hardware and recording techniques that I used during the making of this song. First off, we're going to start with the vocals. So this green track at the top here, that's going to be my vocal track. So, while recording this, I used this microphone here, the Aventone CV12, and this is a tube condenser mic with an external power supply that is right here. And what's really neat about this is it has multiple different polar patterns for the microphone that you can change whenever you want. So for the vocals there, I used a cardioid polar pattern, and that's essentially to focus the microphone's pickup directly in front of it. Because I really wanted to get the direct sound from his vocals. But now, I'm gonna go to the violin. And the violin, it was also recorded on the CV-12, but instead of using the cardioid polar pattern, I used an omnidirectional pattern. Let's see how that sounds. So the reason I used the omnidirectional pattern for that was to pick up more of the space around the violin. I had the player stand a little bit further from the microphone, uh, which allowed it the recording to have a bit more space to it. And then obviously this was amplified later uh, in the production and post-production phase, but using that omnidirectional technique really helped to get it there in the first place. Finally, the last part that I recorded live was the acoustic guitar, which was recorded on this Shure SM58, an absolute classic. This is a uh, cardioid again, but this is a dynamic microphone, not a condenser microphone which means it will have um, basically it's it's a bit more rugged it's a bit less sensitive of a microphone which means it can usually handle louder sound pressure levels uh, let's just see how it sounds in the song And when I was recording this, I literally, I just had the microphone on this uh, short stand here while the uh, guitarist was sitting in this beanbag chair. Um, but yeah, it ended up sounding pretty great. Uh, so yeah, that was me recording that song two microphones, a few different techniques, 
That's it.